Greetings, it's your girl, Minister Aisha. I'm back for part two of Trusting the Process. Let's go ahead and say our mantra and conclude the contents of this video. For I know who I am and whom that I stand, whom empowers me to be. I am an ambassador for Christ. This is the hour to recognize me. Well, in part one of the video, we began to talk about trusting the process. We went over the literal definition for the word trusting, which means to showing or tending to have a belief in, to rely upon, to place confidence in. And the literal definition for process is a series of actions or steps taken in order to achieve a particular end. We talked about Jeremiah, Jeremiah 29 and 11, how the Lord says that he knows his thoughts, the plan that he has for us of peace and not evil to bring us to an expected end. God has an expected end for our lives. Our lives are predestined and ordained. And I got so excited when I was talking about going back to the beginning, um, to a place of humble place in prayer and praying after the manner that the Lord taught us the Lord's prayer. Got so excited, started moving my hands and cut off that video, honey. But guess what? I know how to do a part two, boo. And on this part two, the last thing I want to say to you about trusting the process is this. God knows what he has for you. It's set up in heavenly places, but you have to, he has dealt to each believer a measure of faith and you have to exercise your faith in order to access the things that he has prepared for you. And so as I began to um, go through the process in 2009, I didn't understand everything. I was just going in faith, going in faith. Following in faith, following in faith. And now it's here eight years later that I got a re revelation under a hair dryer, honey. That the thing that I was praying in my whole heavenly prayer language, because if you read 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 1 through 11, he talks about now concerning spiritual gifting. Brother, I would not have you ignorant. And he began to talk about how he gave some wisdom, knowledge, faith, healing, miracles, prophecy, sermon, tongue, interpretation of tongues. And I have always decreed and I've always declared that um, I would have... All nine gifts of the spirit, not bear the fruit of the spirit, and have all nine manifestations of the fruit of the spirit. But um, and and sometimes when I'm praying in my heavenly prayer language, I can hear it in English and I can interpret it. But it was so amazing for me because I've been saying rohaish and emotion, you know, just all praying in tongues and everything, and I learned that who Rohai was yesterday. He taught me that he was was my shepherd. And he has really just solidified the pertinence of trusting the process. And so with the model prayer, I, I recommend you get this book um, by one of the Bynum Threshing Floors, an oldie but goodie. Um, I recommend you getting in your word, delighting yourself in him, making yourself available to his presence, setting aside some you and God time, some time where it's just you and him and you just love on him and you allow him to love on you. And just trust that he's doing it. When you get saved, you have to come out of everything that you were in. Maybe in 2, 10, 30, 40, 70 years. But when you surrender and you relinquish, the old man has to die and the new man has to live. And there's a process for that transition. He purges you. He prunes you. He sanctifies you. And there's so much. And you have to just trust the process that he's doing it. And the purpose of it is not to... um harm you not to hurt you not to deprive you but all of the things that you go through are to make you to mold and shape you like jeremiah 18 and 3 he's putting you on that potter's wheel there's some things in your life that was marred that was broken but he takes you back down to the potter's house and he molds and shape you into the man and woman of god that he desires for you to be and you just have to trust him that he's ordering your steps because the steps of a good man are ordered by the lord and you have to trust the process even when it doesn't feel good know that all things work together for your good all things work together for the good of those who love the lord and who are called according to their 
to his purpose. It has a purpose and a plan for your life and you have to trust it. On the previous video, I said I was going to read a quarter of page seven and the rest of page eight, but I decided not to do that because the Holy Spirit just took me in a whole nother different direction. And I trust him that he's faithful and what he and his purpose for doing it is is good. So let's go ahead and pray and get out the, this camera and just know that you're you're upon on a precipice a dawning of a new day you're about to reach your zenith in the things of god and you cannot throw away the towel i'm reminded of the old testament the lady when she was raped and she almost gave up just before her due season she had been tortured she had been raped but when she reached the thresh the threshold she was about to cloak to cross and not go over into the door and she died you can't die be not weary and well doing for in due season you will reap if you faint not be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So shall his word go forth. It will not return to him void, but it will accomplish every single thing that he sent it out to do. He's not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should have to repent. But if he said it, you can surely believe it, that he will do it. He watches faithfully and carefully to perform his word. He, His eyes are looking to and fro. His ears not deaf that he can't ear, hear. His hands not short that he cannot save you. We have to examine ourselves, get the sin out of our life because our sin separates us from him. We have to trust that he's processing us. We have to learn of him. Take my yoke upon you upon you and learn of me for my yoke is easy and my burdens are so light isn't that awesome so you have to just learn of him you have to trust him you have to go through this process you have to believe that you can receive and you can achieve every single thing that he has laid up for you i love you so much thanks for tuning in to these two parts of trusting the process and thank you for being a faithful and loyal subscriber like share and subscribe to this page comment on the video and i will reply to you email me at um ambassador for christ as at gmail.com and i will email you back um befriend me on facebook inbox me asia p seriously my sister has a wonderful christian support page she and her co-founder heather Wynn have loving people by sharing christ available 365 days a year 66 on a leap year um seven days a week 24 hours a day honey you can get on there you can read the daily devotionals you can watch the videos you can send in prayer requests you can see the memes and wonderful beautiful illustrations that heather creates you can engage us and we will engage you back and you can just really fall in love and you can share the love of christ with someone else even during the hard times you have to look and find the joy even during the bitter times you have to know and trust it's gonna get better baby because god is so faithful and he's so awesome he's so god he's so god he's bigger than the universe amen <laughs> bow your head let us pray dear heavenly father i thank you for these your ambassadors lord god we thank you for being god all by yourself after this manner lord god we will pray pray to you lord god our father which art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is your kingdom the power and the glory is already thine forever and ever O god we worship you because you're wonderful god counselor mighty god the great i am the prince of peace the brightest shining morning star lord god you're the hope of glory alpha omega the beginning the end the first the last 
who is, who was, and who is to come. You never change, God. You never fail us, O oh God. And we worship you, Jesus. We magnify your holy name. We thank you, God, for being here with us, God. And we make a vow that we will trust you during the process, Lord God, because we understand that your word says all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord, who are called according to his purpose, O oh God. You have a purpose for our life. We speak life to those people who are in a very barren and loaded bar and dark state. You shall arise out of that dark place. Come forward. The Lord says that everything, everywhere the soles of your feet shall tread, he will give you the land. So start walking by faith and not by sight. I believe and I receive that this is the year to accomplish for the ambassadors. And we shall accomplish everything that we have set forth and put our hand to the plow to do. I believe that everything that Heather and Tara have fashion and design in their mind and their heart for their vision from their fitness to their spiritual ministry to their marriages and whatever else lord god is going to they're going to accomplish those things and every ambassador that has logged onto this video whether they're a subscriber whether it's their first time seeing this channel or it has been referred to them lord god this prayer, these de declarations, this word was for them, Lord God. This word is going to encourage them and motivate them to go on a little further, go a little deeper, press a little harder to pursue the promise that you have for them. God, we thank you. We praise you. We worship you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Well, honey, we have gotten the word. We have studied this thing. We got some definitions. You can play these videos over and over. You can get some worship music. You can cry out to the Lord because he's faithful. He's just. He will hear you. He reigns on the just as well as the unjust. He's so good. But I got to go, honey. I love you. And goodbye for now. Oh. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I suggest that you get to know him. If you don't know how, please read Romans chapter 10 verses 9 through 10. Believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus died on the cross for you and God raised him from the dead. And that makes you saved. If you have any questions, cares, or concerns, please reach out to us. We'll aid you in any manner that we know how. And if we don't have the resources, we definitely will refer you. We love you. Goodbye for now.